Hi everyone, welcome again to Learning Mathematics Heuristics at Melis. Today we're going to be talking about Remainder Concept 3. Uh, not a very commonly tested question, but it is still being tested nonetheless. Um, and such question, again, the word Remainder is going to be a very key feature here. But what is different from what we have learned at Remainder Concept 1 and 2 is that you're given a proportion followed by a number. Now, an example, many spend one quarter of a salary, an additional $30 on some books and half of the remaining salary, an additional $20 on some clothes. So these are the kind of questions that we will use to solve uh, using this remainder concept type 3. So let's get into it. All right, let's take a look at a question that deals with remainder concept type 3. All right. Again, one of the most common characteristics for this kind of concept is the word remaining. However, with a difference from the last two concepts that we learned on remainder concept, over here we're given a proportion in terms of percentage, or could be fraction, or decimal, or even ratio, with an additional number. So again, a fraction with an additional number. Now with such a question, we will be using this remainder concept type 3 to solve it. Let's get into it. Mandy spent 25% of her money, an additional $30 on a book. Now, 25% is one quarter, so this is what we do. Book, one quarter of it, plus another $30. Hence, whatever that remains is three quarter, but we have to take away this $30 because it went there. Now, she then bought some CDs. So we're going to branch the CD out from here, and we spend three-fifth an additional $20 on the CD. So three-fifth plus $20. So what is left will be two-fifth, and we take away $20 that went there. And in the end, she is left with $64. So we can see that the $64 is what is left here. Now what is interesting to note is two parts minus 20 is 64. So how do we get two parts? Two parts is 64 plus 20, and this will give us 84. So how do we find this five parts? Yeah, so we know two parts is 84. How do we find five? Now what we could do, of course, is take, to take 84 divided by 2. That will give you 42, and you multiply it by 5. Alternatively, we could just take 84 divided by 2 fifths, and this gives us 210. Now, what is this 210? So, 210 is 5 parts, and this is actually the remainder here. Alright, 210. So, 3 quarter minus $30 is 210. Now, in other words, 3 units minus 30 is 210. So 3 units is 210 plus $30, and that will give us 240. So 3 units is 240, 1 unit would be 80, 4 unit will give you 320. Alternatively, you could take 240 divided by 3 quarter, and this gives you 320. So this completes our remainder concepts, type 1, 2, and 3.